Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make the envelopes for my pen pal letters. Um, so here's just me showing you all the different patterns. You can really use any sort of paper. I prefer to use the big squares of paper from either Joann's or Michael's. I just find that those are the pieces of paper that work best with the requirements of the mail. So here's the paper I'm going to be turning into an envelope today. The first thing I did, as you can see, is fold it in half. That's very important. And since it is a square, you can fold it either way, but I chose to fold it this way just so that the little images would look the best. You're going to want to make this crease as sharp as possible. It's just going to make the envelope look much more professional and well done. So then you're going to flip the paper over to the white side, or if you have double-sided paper, just the side where the fold is concave, I think that's the word. And then you're going to fold the edges of the envelope. The most you're going to want to do for this is half an inch because otherwise it will significantly decrease the size of your envelope and you'll still be charged premium prices for an envelope that is long but not as thick. So then you're going to do the other side and once you've done the other side, you're going to glue along one of the folds. Um, just try and be as exact as possible. It doesn't matter that much, but you don't want to get too much glue on the white part. So then fold it over and glue it down. As you're doing this, you're going to want to make sure to smooth it out as much as possible. This is just going to get out any air bubbles or clumps of glue that may be in your envelope. Once you've completed this step and you've given it a good amount of drying time, all you're going to do is take your ruler give the bottom a good inch or so and then you're going to fold it up once you've completely flattened your paper and you've gotten it to be linear you are going to glue the flap down what i didn't show in this part is i held the flap down with a weight you can also just hold it down with your hand and this is going to help it both dry faster and have less air bubbles so then you're going to open it up again because this is an important part which is easy to skip you're going to want to glue the inside down otherwise you're going to have a flap and your whole envelope will still be open i've learned that the hard way things have fallen out of my envelopes into the mail before and you do not want that to happen again be sure to smooth out any air bubbles or little pieces of glue and you should be good once that's glued down, you're gonna to go to the top and cut about an inch and a half or an inch off of your envelope. This is necessary for your envelope to be considered standard sizing, otherwise it will be considered a package and you'll have to pay much more than two stamps to ship it out. Once you've done that, your envelope is complete. All you're gonna to do to close it is fold over the top and glue it the exact same way you did to the bottom flap. Thank you guys so much for watching our video and we'll see you in the next one.